957 Hog presents the Morning Hog. I am Riggs, that is intern Steve, and now we present Morning Hog Happy Hour. Josh and Amelia from SR Parat are here! Look in the house! <laughs> happy uh happy day to you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. You know, I am uh I'm all ready for uh for bike week next week. We're trying to get trying to make some bike week plans. I know that it's crazy for you guys. Extremely. So it's good to see you in a calm before the storm mode. So we can just do a couple of uh, beverages. And I see new stuff there today too, right? Yeah, we got new stuff. And uh, yeah, you know why we look calm? What? Because we drink beer. Oh. <laughs> when you, uh, you know why? Because when you're here, there's beer. Boom. There you go. <laughs> it it's catchphrase. We're yeah. trying to get we're trying to get the shirts made. We got a we got a couple personalized license plates with that on there. Yeah. And I understand like a wristbands, like sweat wristbands. I think if you say it forty times on air, then it's instantly trademarked. <laughs> it is. Yeah. No one can take that. Yeah. Yeah, you try it. We, we, we're, you're going to pay us. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I just got a tattoo last night that says it. So I Nice. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, no. Steve, well... Steve, 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 Steve. <laughs> Let's get some drinks first. Where are we starting? All right. We're going to start with Yingling Hershey's Chocolate Porter. I oh. Have, I have, I'm really confused by all the things you just said. It's wow. one of the most asked about beers I hear throughout the year. Is yeah. When mm -hmm. is this coming back? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think it was released two years ago but the first year is kind of like a sample market yeah last year it came out but it is a seasonal beer so okay it just hit the uh the stores last week all right uh and it won't be around for very long so I was a, lot, say, a lot of people missed it last year and they were very upset seasonal and not as in like three months seasonal is in like you better hurry up and get uh, yeah, it right yeah, okay absolutely um it might have, have a little bit longer season this time around because yeah. they saw the demand is there uh but it is one of those things. You see it, grab it. 12 oh packs, god. six packs. Oh my god. But Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yes. Not, yeah. a, not a very strong smell. Right. Oh, you don't you don't smell the chocolate right off. No, no, but get ready. Throw that thing on your tongue, my friend. And by the way, coin that phrase if you walk out on the shirt. Throw that thing on the tongue, Ooh. my friend. Oh, this is, this is oh. incredible. And wow. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll share a little insight into Riggs World. I will sit many times on my own couch, and I'll have some beers on a on a weekend night and eat some chocolates. Okay. And I felt like they always go together. This is this is what happens. I'm, this is like my mouth in a bottle. Are you? What, <laughs> are, yeah. You seriously do that? Yeah. For that. Do you do really? That? You do. I that? have never done that before. You've never put chocolate in your mouth while having a beer until right now. Do it. <laughs> watch right. it. Watch, watch it happen. Man, this is the magic of the brew review. First timers and things. So, so <laughs> delicious. And Yingling's not trying to deprive you of this, right? Like you said, the demand was there, so they got more this time. Yeah, right? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like you said, twelve packs and six packs this time. Um, Four point seven percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. So you're probably gonna run through that whole six pack, no problem. Okay. Right, right, right. Be tempted to go through the twelve pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let the temptation take you. It's okay. You Dessert know? and beer. It, it's very it's, mild. it's very calm. It's it um, is. it's there, but. It doesn't like really hit you in the mouth. Yes, one might say, "Is this a stout?" No, it's a porter. No, it's a porter. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah, it's it. actually. A, from what I understand, it's actually their classic recipe on their porter, and then they kind of played with the uh, the Hershey's chocolate in there. It's still mm -hmm. really light. It is, really but it light. is clearly Hershey's chocolate. Yeah. Like, yes, you know it's chocolate. There is a sweetness there. It's not kind of faded in the background. It's it's clearly what it says it is. Damn, I had a bag of marshmallows and graham crackers to bring today too. Damn, Ooh. I should have brought them in. We could have had, we could have had liquid you, s'mores. You know I don't like s'mores. <gasps> I was going to share with you. I was going to give them to Josh and Amelia. They're our guests. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to share. Plus, we can't have an open flame in here anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's great. And I assume, obviously, srprod.com slash beer finder. You can go there. But this will probably be one in all of our uh, retail places. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it'll go quick. But Total Wines, ABCs. Publix. Yeah. Going to be on draft at Giuseppe's, right? Re Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Whoa, boom. I'm not going really? to get to that right yeah. now, but it, that would be probably your best bet. You can go oh, ask him. It doesn't hurt to ask, right, Amelia? You can ask. Well, we did order some mm. top handles in okay. limited quantities, and I know they're a huge Yingling account for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. that is and they're huge on Pittsburgh and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. they're true. a huge fan about that. Oh, my God. And their pizza is fantastic. <laughs> I and never wings. had it! Oh, oh, what? I feel trip. pizza. <laughs> this is the biggest pizza-loving person on the planet I've ever met, and he has not tasted the best pizza in town. Can you believe oh that? God. That's a little disappointing. It is disappointing. I mean, it's no tortilla with pizza sauce in the oven, but it's... 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I try to I try to supplement. It. It's like I can't eat pizza every day, so I'll just get you things that have pizza ingredients on them. Makes sense. Uh, all right, what's next? I see another new friend right there. Yeah, we got Ooh. another new one, and this is a uh, kind of stepping out the side of their box a little bit. It's Blue Moon's Moon Haze, Ooh. which is a little difficult to say because you say Blue Moon. Blue moon haze. You say moon, moon twice. Haze. Yes. When I wrote this moon. down, I was like Blue Moon Moon Haze. <laughs> Like blue moon moon. I like hearing Haze. you say it. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, what's the idea behind this uh, new beverage? It's, so, I, yep, go ahead. It's a hazy, juicy pale ale. Right. So blue really? moon's oh, never done a pale oh, ale. Like, really? They're they're into their their wheat beers. Obviously, they're known for mm -hmm. their Belgian white, right. regular blue moon. Right. Um, so this is stepping into that category of, like she said, juicy hazy IPA. Right, the change. And those hazies are known for that juicy flavor profile. So it only makes sense that someone like Blue Moon that specializes in that oh. citrus flavors kind of delves into that realm. Yeah. Okay, now um, I is, haven't tried this. The so citrus I'm nose stoked. is still there. Yeah, yeah, I'm stoked to try this. Uh, All right, first timer. Me too. Let's do yeah. it. These just again hit our docks last oh. week. Should be in Publix's right now. That's the best Ooh. blue moon I've ever had. Yeah. Very That's the best orange blue moon aroma. Had. Yes. Huge orange mm -hmm. aroma. It's a 5.7% ABV. I believe they won a ton of awards with this as well. What, what, wow. Is there oh. more of something in this than, than what they normally have? The wheat? I mean, obviously, oh. the wheat is got. Like so, it. this is going to have a much heavier uh, hop profile okay. than yeah. your regular blue mm -hmm. moon, where you're getting more of those wheat flavors and malt and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, this is more akin to an IPA. So, you have yeah. a hop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hooked on I'm hooked on it. It's knocking on the door. Oh yeah. So this one yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come in. It's big. <laughs> this one's brewed with dried whole oranges, whereas okay. a oh. traditional blue moon is brewed with Valencia orange peel. peel. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. well, they're chucking the whole thing in there. So it's different. They still got that classic orange twist to it, but wow, they did yeah, this, I like this juicy yeah. pale yeah. Out, right. Yeah. And it, and it's seed free. No more <laughs> seeds floating in it at yeah. all. Yeah. But, it, but it is very, uh, it, it does have that Blue Moon uh, taste, I guess, aftertaste maybe. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's still that citrus mm -hmm. punch for there. Uh, yeah. for it. And, yeah. you know, we've talked about before, hazies are the thing right now, right? Probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's uh, very enjoyable. It's not sitting on your palate and, yep. you know, palate wrecking. So you're not a big, you're not a big wheat ale guy. But this, no, but this, either, but this no, is, I, 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 this is the right way to go with it. Right? I just might pick up a sixer on the way home. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get you some locations. That's our broad.com slash beer finder. Hang on. We have more coming up. Yeah. Round two Round of the Morning Hog Brew Review. That's Josh and Amelia from SR Parade here on the Morning Hog at 95.7 The Hog. <laughs> hey, it's the Morning Hog, 95.7 The Hog. Riggs, intern Steve. But more importantly, Josh and Amelia from SR Parade are here. We had some great flavors. <laughs> SR Parat specials, newbies on the front end. And yes. so now we're into uh, something that has a lot of letters. I'm just going to leave you <laughs> this whole pronunciation. I, I like when you try them. Yeah. Schaffhoff for. Pretty damn close, actually. Yeah, yeah, Schaffhoff. Yeah, yeah. In fact, okay. that was better than 75% uh, of the people said. Shooting frog them. There you go. <laughs> what? Was, it's German. That was what I bought at Ikea. Uh, you actually. might have that to was, censor that. That was my, yeah, I did, actually. <laughs> Hell yeah, but, yeah. Wait, we try to get. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's a bleep. <laughs> now uh, these are delightful looking. What's going yes. on inside? So I actually alluded to this a few weeks ago. Yeah, uh, when we brought in the new flavor. Okay. Um, Twelve pack variety is available now. Nice. Yes. God, I love her. Who doesn't love variety? Right. Exactly. And they're slim cans for the first time. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, these just had our docks as well. So another new product. Okay. Uh, and three different flavors, which beer map. Mm. Let's see if we can do this. Let's start all over. Five, here's a one. Uh, four, four, four. Yeah. Yes, woohoo! So, yeah, I got that right. So Schaffhofer is known for their Rattlers, oh, yeah. which are shandies here. Okay. Uh, essentially juice and beer, 50-50. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Super low ABV. Mm. All right. I'm just kind of smells delish. Oh yeah, this is the pomegranate flavor we're okay. opening. All right. So it's half hefeweizen, mm -hmm. half pomegranate juice. That's correct. I love this stuff. And I think 2.5% alcohol. So oh, wait, this wait, is wait, something. Oh. oh, oh wait, you're Ooh. right. Yeah. It is 2.5%. Every once in a while, I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for Josh Big Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's a uh, that is a uh, phenomenal taste. Yeah. Okay. It's 2.5. You just drink more of them, right? 
And even at 2.5%, I think this can be a little bit dangerous because it goes down a little too smooth. Yeah. Too easily. Mm. With the slim cans, you'd be like, give me four, I guess, to start with. And then when we first got this, we started mixing it with White Claw. Oh, really? So I think beer math would bring that percentage oh, up, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yes. then yeah. if you really want to mix that with some Cocker Bottom Vodka or rum, oh, I could, you're going to have a good time. Now your beer right, math is gone to liquor math. Yeah. He's been Steve. Yes, yes. <laughs> <He's> skyrocketed. <laughs> Steve's got a liquor calculator, too. Yeah. You want to show? Uh, show it? Yeah. No. Uh, not, not right not now. Not from the camera. <laughs> but, uh, but this is, I mean, this particular flavor, uh, I feel like, would be, because it's like a now and later or something. It's but cool. it's, got a, it's got a little percentage yeah, in yeah. there. Delightful. Absolutely. Not too sweet. Are these like, uh, are we getting healthy too? Are we losing weight with these? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to promise on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's, I mean, if it's using natural juice, you're going to have. Natural I mean, there sugars, might be right? some vitamins. Yeah, it's fine. Pomegranate juice. That's probably good for you. <laughs> I'm sure that yeah, offer stands for vitamins. Yes, it does. Yeah. Don't look that up. Just trust us. <laughs> Talk about antioxidants in it. Oh, I'm sure, Steve. Whoa. I'm sure the antis are there. I'm sure they're there. Yeah, yeah, and the uh, pomegranate juice. Mm-hmm. That's where all the cherries, maybe. All right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe those are in there. Well, there are more flavors. Maybe there'll be some later. What else are we uh, getting into right there? I mean, so pomegranate. Uh, pomegranate. Pomegranate is one of the variants. Uh, this is going to be the original, the grapefruit chop offer. Okay. So this is what they're known for. So right. it's their classic. They started with grapefruit. A weird place to start. There are so many fruits out there. Why would you start with grapefruit? Well, apparently yeah. they do it right. Well, I mean, beer and grapefruit kind of naturally mix together. Yeah, and we've talked about the grapefruit. It's like, it's for you and I, it's all or nothing with grapefruit. Absolutely. Let's, yeah. let's, uh, let's we'll give you the honest appraisal right here because I haven't tried Ooh, Okay, that smells good. It actually smells even more citrusy than the grapefruit, more uh, orangey. Okay. Okay, that's really good. Oh, that's like a it's like a sweet grapefruit. Yes. Yep. Not sugary sweet, but uh, not that doesn't have that punch Ooh. to your taste buds. It still has. Oh yeah, you yeah. even get almost that. It's a weird way to say it, but spiciness mm. of a grapefruit. Yes. Oh yeah. Does yeah, yeah, so that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Peppery yeah. kind of. Yeah. See, the yeah. actual grapefruits were like this. I've been eating them all the time. Right. And so you get like, a whole bunch yes. of bitterness. Bite right into it. Yeah. Oh, you have to peel those first. Well, I I just spit no, out the rind. You don't peel them. You just slice them. Steve brought one to the <laughs> Steve brought a, a, a grapefruit to the Jags game a couple weeks ago, and he just sat there and just ate it and spit the rind out on the ground. So where other people have peanut shells, Steve had grapefruit rind. That's okay. right. Yeah, that's a fun fact. He That's had soaked exactly he had soaked it in grain alcohol for ten hours beforehand too. I should point that out. <laughs> but at two point five percent, you can just get a, a lot better maintenance with these, right? And that's way better. It's tasty. And a fun can. Isn't that can fun, Amelia? So fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's it's and happy. It's, it's a variety <laughs> pack. These colors pop. Man. I love it. I would think of this is sitting on an end cap somewhere. You could you, you wouldn't be able to not see these. The colors are I mean when you pour I'm hoping this one yeah, yeah, the next look. one is uh, gonna pour a little bit of purple Ooh, with all the nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we'll lots out. of color we'll out, varieties what is purple today. Mean? We are going to passion fruit. And you know what happens to see when I get the passion for Yeah, yeah. things are going to get passionate. You're just weird. Over. Stay over there. We got a passion for uh, oh, this SR Prop beverages expecting. anyway. Let's find out what we get. Uh oh, okay. That one's, hey, that one looks like a, that one looks like a beer right there. Oh, that one does look closest to the beer. Uh, yeah. Traditional beer color. Okay. Well, it doesn't smell like that. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that the, uh, the meat of a passion fruit is actually uh, okay. oh, that's beer color? <laughs> The meat. It's very okay. So this one has. <laughs> don't you know what to say about that? I like it. You just keep talking about it. It's gonna be. It's be more time to drink. I love this color though. It's a vibrant. I don't know if I've ever had a passion fruit by itself. Yeah, look I, at it. I, I look bought at one one time. Okay. And a lot of flies got on my counter after a couple days, and so I just kind of tapped on it mm -hmm. and threw it away. So I haven't either, but I I do love this flavor. Yeah. It's whatever the, whatever is happening in the inside of passion fruit, I don't know. But it is. It's not. This one has more tang than the rest. Yes. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of tart. Yeah. Tart. Yeah. Tart. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Tang, sweet you know. on the front, tang on the end. I don't mean like. A, yeah. I don't mean like the space mm -hmm. tang. Although maybe I don't know. Definitely maybe, an experience. Maybe the uh, Schaffen uh, blah. If people want to get involved with the tang people, there you go. A little hybrid. I don't want to tell them what to do. You know. Make it. Make a powdered Schaffen. Yeah. Just think about it. Oh, listen. Just add water. Yeah. They're, they're always That's innovating, beer. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just add beer. <laughs> but you, but you yeah. mentioned yeah. that Josh told you you can really don't be afraid to uh, do some home lab experiments. Oh, yeah. Grab one of these at two point five and mix it up with something a little bit more octane if you need or, it. Or 
Yeah. We need a little bit of fruit. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. Suicide look drink. Look what he's doing. Look at oh, Amelia. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fun ride right there. Making a combo. Yeah, fruit punch. Oh, I was punch. just going to say, fruit oh. punch, yeah. Oh. No, he's done. Oh, now, I have... do have a question, Josh. Uh -oh. Now, is all Schaffer Hoffer beers, are they always the half Hefeweizen and half juice? Is that what they're known for? That is what they are known for. Yeah. So I do know a German and <laughs> <laughs> a German man. A German man. man okay, all and right. I learned a couple of things. Yeah. So he says that uh, it's actually really traditional in German for them to do like mix their beers, wines with like really? sprites, you know, juice, other stuff, oh. water them down, lower the ABV. But you know, they drink all day long. Yeah. And then they even, I, I tried um, so Underberg, yeah. and it's like a, <laughs> so you, but, <laughs> I don't know, um, which is like, have you guys seen those little like two ounce little, it's a bitters, aromatic bitters? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. So, but like an so, old fashioned or But then yeah. you drink it after a meal, and then I looked at the like ABV, it's like 40% or Correct. 35%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. bitters but are made like, from alcohol. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. I thought so it was old fashioned, it's alcohol like a, mixed with. Alcohol. I thought it was a flavoring like an almond or a vanilla extract. In a way it is because it's a very concentrated flavor. That's why the bottles are so small. <laughs> right. Yeah. But uh, I, that's news to me. I've never heard of any. I wouldn't want to do that. Because <laughs> it is a very strong flavor. Well, this is why we. Is. This is why the uh, the Germans are so powerful. They can just they can handle those kind of things. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it even says in the little bottle something like for uh, like rejuvenation, vibrancy, like to feel good. It helps with your digestion after function? a meal. I'm it like, are you like taking a shot? <laughs> what like... if you get them under your pillow at hotels there? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Man, I hope so. Let's book a flight and find out. <laughs> so this sampler, these three great flavors, contained in a 12 pack, which is be like four each, something like that, uh, is available where? SRProt.com slash beer finder for sure. These are, like I said, just hit the market. Um, Publix is going to be your, your quickest bet. Okay. Soda Wine, I believe, just picked them up as well. And then local independence. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, I, I would imagine with those flavors and with the complexity of that beverage that they're tar are they are they trying to get the, the in-between between the beer drinkers and they, maybe the uh, the seltzers? Because it does have a nice uh, I, a, a blend of both. You could say that, but I mean, these have been around much longer than seltzers have yeah. been. So I think they're just kind of their own thing. I like it. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something new. Yeah, yeah, that's why you get into something new. There yeah. you go. An all new palette of flavors right here on the brew review. Uh, SRProt.com slash beer finder. And uh, well, until next week, cheers, you guys. Cheers. cheers.